today our top five photo gadgets. Find out what makes the cut. There's only one thing that we love more than eating food with chopsticks, and that's photography. Hey there, the Chopstick Guys here with you today, and we are showing you our top five gadgets. Those are gadgets for today, not necessarily for all time, but for today. So without further ado, let's begin. Number one. Number one, we have the Loom Cube. Fantastic LED lighting for your cellular phone, for still photography, and for all things greatness. <laughs> Number two. Number two, Spider Holster Pro with accessories. Number three. That's right, number three, we have the Singray Neutral Density Filter. Number four. Number four is our Peak Design Everyday Backpack and Messenger Bag. And at number five, in no particular order, is the Microsoft Surface Laptop Computer Tablets. I can't wait to show everybody these five things. We are having a blast playing with these oh, gadgets. Oh, yeah, we are. So. It's, and we guarantee that you're going to have a blast watching this. What we're going to do is we're going to actually load up our, our walk here with some of our gadgets. We've got my loom cube here. Goes here. The filter. And why don't you take this everyday messenger <laughs> bag? Everyday backpack. And then we'll load Let's up head out for a photo exactly. walk. Let's, let's take a walk and we'll show you what we're doing here. What a beautiful day for a Incred photo walk. Incredible day. So out of our walk, we're taking our number one. And these again are not in any particular order, but our nope. first gadget that we have here. And what do we have? We this have is the Loom Cube. Loom Cube. So our Loom Cube is a LED light that is high power. This thing has 10 stops of light. Super, super bright. We use these really all the time. We use them for both still photography and exactly. for video. So yeah, we use this little Joby handle here. This isn't one of our gadgets, but I actually can put my phone right inside if here. If you could find your phone. If I could find my phone, <laughs> I'd lock it down and we could show you. What I think is really cool about these things is that they are completely waterproof, not water resistant. I could turn this thing on and drop it in a swimming yep. pool and light up the pool. That's what I, how cool what I love are. about it is that they will actually work as a slave, so I can use these with my, my regular flash and I can use yeah. another flash behind. As in they're off and you hit the button with your camera and it flashes, and it flashes. as a flash. Plus I can also use this controlled through my cell phone. So if I want to change the color temperature or change the power of the light, that can all be done okay. right through the cell phone. So that is number one. These yeah. things are $79 each or about $150 for the pair. Really, really cool product. Number two. Let's move those out of the way. <laughs> number two is, this has got to be one of my most favorite gadgets of this year. Yes. And that is the Spider Holster. You can see right now, I am wearing my camera right on my waist. I'm that guy, you know this, that hates to use straps. Yep. I let my camera, I set it down everywhere. I'm always turning around going, where did I set my camera at? Especially at workshops, but just out in the field. We went to India for a month. Remember when I had to buy that strap in yep. India that like made my camera sit like way up here because they didn't make long straps because I had forgot okay, it at so home. why do you love this thing? I love this thing because hands-free. This thing sits on my waist, it's its own belt, and it's important that it's its own belt. Why is why? it? Why? Because I love this thing because it does not pull down my pants. Yeah. I've used every type of belt system out there, and normally my pants start falling down. Because they normally hang pants on they the ground. On your pants own. on the ground, right? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a fool with your pants. But these on things, the, the way this clips on, it's got yeah. this little nub on the bottom. This plate here is amazing. This thing will fit both uh, tripod mounts. It will take you know really right stuff type. Yep, that Arca mount. Swiss yep. mount. You go and on here. It's got the the tools already built into the bottom of this clip. It's really yeah. cool. This thing is rock solid. Now you it's got, got all kinds of spots in here where you actually can put the quick. Yep. So and it still slides fits. right into the slot. You can notice how, that. how this moves your camera right in. This thing is just rock solid. The camera doesn't pop out. Now they do have a lock that in case you, you, you feel uncomfortable. Yep. I've never used the lock, but we've been using these for, for a few weeks now. Totally revolutionized the way we shoot. Hands-free, being able to carry yeah. stuff, pick it up. It's been fantastic. Yep. How many times have you gone in to uh, help somebody and you, you walk in to tell them something, your camera swings and hits them, or you go to move a light stand, yep. it's bumping in. Now, I mean, we, we love these this thing. Now, Spider Holster has provided us a coupon code for you guys. Yeah. It's gonna be right down below. You can see it right there here. with the link below as well. You can hit that and they give you like 25 bucks off yeah. the, the Spider Holster. Right now, I have never seen it that, even at the show, I didn't see it. No. At WPPI, I didn't see it that cheap. So, so. go ahead, grab right it. Now? This this will revolutionize the way that you uh, you shoot. So, excellent, Spider. we love Spider. Okay. okay, number two, what do we Number have? two, right now, 
this is so appropriately named. Sorry, number three. This is number three. Number three. Yes. Peak Design has appropriately named two of the products we're wearing right now. The Everyday Backpack and the Everyday Messenger Bag. Why is it appropriate? Because this is a product that we've been using oh, man. every day. Love this thing. So I've got about 20 backpacks. Ask my wife. She calls me. She calls them purses, actually, for me, because they're like photographer purses. Yeah. But I've got about 20 backpacks, 20 bags. This thing is amazing. Now, we've all used sling bags that sling around like this. Now, I can open this up. I can access it like a sling bag right from the side. Yeah. Check this out. Not only that, let me pop it back on here. What I can do is once it's back on, if I say, okay, no, I want to get something from the other side, I can go ahead and just open yeah. up That's crazy. You can side. open it from either then side. Then I can go ahead I can open it right from the top using this really incredible latch. Yeah. I've got all this space in the top. Now these- But this, you actually can reach through and get it stuff This thing has this ingenious shelf system that we're gonna show you on the next show yes. on how this actually works. But yeah, this one of the thing, cool things, you just saw him latch that. If you look at the latch here, this thing is kind of an elastic. It stretches out, but it's also magnetic. So it's really easy to just find a spot and it locks Super in. high quality aircraft material plus like seat belts. This is like seat belt this. material that holds this and it's got a beautiful padded strap. It's padded across the back. I have never seen something so well constructed. No, and right now I have two camera bodies, all my video gear, four lenses, uh, a microphone, yeah. my laptop, all in here and it's very comfortable to wear. And it's the size of a backpack that I can barely fit one body and three, yep. three and, and lenses in and that thing fits all of that. These yep. are crazy great. Cool. They, they are they are the best best packs. Now they have been generous again to give a, another coupon code that I want you guys to just at least check out their site amazing stuff. In fact, check out their videos. They've got some great yeah. kind of videos Put in the code, stuff. the code for them Pop right the here code, on the screen. You'll get a great discount. Again, the only place to buy it right through Peak Design that you'll get a discount. Go these guys, these in. guys were the largest Kickstarter in Kickstarter's history yep. in the photography sector. Love these bags. Love these bags. All right, what do we got number four? Number four. In I'm bag. actually going to reach right through the top of my bag, which I have access to, and that is to show you my Galen Roll Sing Ray Neutral density filter. All right. This is a graduated What's neutral density filter. Us? What this is going to do is, if you love taking landscape pictures as much as we do, this thing actually takes like putting, it's like putting sunglasses on your <laughs> exactly. camera. That's what I always tell people is, you ever shoot where the sky's too bright and your foreground is too dark and you want to kind of blend those things together? Well, you drop this neutral density filter on there, the graduated one, and you're gonna have dark at the top, light at the bottom. Yep. It's like putting sunglasses on half of the lens. Exactly. Show, show a picture. Yeah, right now, look at this. This is the before pictures. This was taken without a neutral density filter, and now, look at the magic. Look at how that sky now is almost the same exposure as the foreground. You can only do that with a neutral density filter. This is a must to be and, in and everybody's bag. Probably the highest, one of the highest they quality. They do, and you're gonna get no color shifts. It's gonna be very natural looking. So very that cool. is my number four All right. gadget. What do we have for number five? This is in no particular order, by the way, but number five. Number five blows me is, away because, Steve, you are a crazy Mac guy. I am You've a big, got anything that has Mac, an eye but, in front but of it. But Apple, it yes. Is, you're an Apple so guy. So here's what we got. Now, we, we actually got these when we traveled to India. Now, this is the Microsoft Surface and part of their Surface Pro line. Yes. These things weigh 1.7 pounds. They are full Windows 10 yeah. i7 Again, machines. These can be operated like a tablet, operated, look at this, magnetically put back on keyboard like a full computer. This is full Windows 10. This is not a tablet. Now, I hate to admit this. I hate, I'm sorry, my Apple friends. Windows 10 is actually pretty awesome. And these little machines are incredible. Yeah. This thing runs Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, Lightroom. This will Audition. render video. If you've ever done video, I can render video almost as fast as I can on my giant desktop with this thing here because it's solid state. It runs so quick. Comes with a little built-in kickstand. Yep. I mean, this, these things just, they rock. Right here, I have a stylus. I actually can edit right on the screen. This thing is like using one of those Wacom Cintiqs right there on the screen I can do edits with. This this literally has changed our traveling life. We, we take these with us everywhere. Yeah. We do a lot of editing on the road or out in the field. These things are incredible. I highly recommend you checking out the Microsoft Surface product. It is, we're not endorsed by them at all, um, but these things are the best way to, to, to carry your computer with you. And a great little Netflix machine. <laughs> it <laughs> so, is. So those are our five top gadgets for today. And uh, 
love to hear what your gadgets might be in the future, but uh, these things that we've been going through today, we just love them. So get your gadgets out and go for your own photo walk. That's right. Oi! Talking raw. Talking raw. Man, we got a great selection of sushi today, don't Ooh, we? Beautiful. You're on Talking Raw. <laughs> so now that you got your, your mouth full, Mark, what do you got for us today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to show you today is the pen tool. You know, so often I hear people go, I've tried the pen tool, but it is way too difficult. Well, the first time, a couple times you use it, it's going to seem that way. I'm going to show you something that I wish somebody would have shown me. So first, I'm going to show you kind of how everybody's been using the pen tool. I will guarantee you, because we had this talk the other day, you said, I don't really like the pen tool. I can't figure it out so nope. well. So enlighten me. Show me. So I got a picture here, and I'm not going to try to cut anything grayed out. I'm just going to, I'm going to cut this face out of this picture. Okay. And, I, and I don't really care, you know, what's going on. But here's what happens. You, you click, and you put your first anchor point, and then see what it's going to do is the next time you click... You're going to get these handlebars mm -hmm. that's going to adjust the curve. This is making a mathematical curve. But here's what the problem is. The first time you use this program, I watch people do this, and they try to adjust their curve to fit what's behind them. Okay. And they say, oh, I got that first curve in pretty good. And then they come into their next curve here, and they go, oh, my goodness. See the little weird little twist it starts getting? And then they go, oh, forget it. I give up. And they go, I'm going back to my pen tool or to my lasso tool. That's the wrong tool to be using. Here's what the problem is. I came up with a, a number of years ago, so I'm going to go over here to my layers panel here and see where it says paths. I'm going to go ahead and throw that work path away. That's going to get rid of what we're working okay. on. So I came up with this. I remember when I was a small boy, a little tiny boy, and I was watching a movie as a little tiny boy. It was called, do you remember the Gumball Rally and I Cannonball remember, Run? Yes, remember, it was always that race I across the U.S. But this Definitely. was the Gumball Rally. And there's a scene where Raul Julia, he's been hired to be, he's like this Formula One race car driver. And they brought him over from Italy. And he's right. going to drive this rich guy's Ferrari to win this cross-country race. They're sitting in this car. You might remember that. As soon as I usually tell people, they're like, I remember the scene. Because as a kid, he's in this Ferrari and he's rum, rum, he's warming the car up. And the two guys are sitting there, the rich guy that owns it, who's the navigator. Here's Raul Julia. And Raul goes, ah, put the maps away. I give you the first rule of Italian racing. And he reaches up and he rips the mirror off the Ferrari and he throws it out there. And he's like, Mario, no care what's behind him, only what's in front. And the race starts. I've... You know, as a kid, you're like, oh, he tore the mirror off that Ferrari, which, you know, we saw what, like 10 of them today. Okay, so, so, so how are you getting into this then so with that? Literally. This is what, this is how people should be learning to use the pen tool. It's just like that tip from Raul Julia. It's throwing away the mirror. Instead of, let's get our same thing. Let's get our starting point here. Rather than clicking and pulling and trying to fit what's behind us, let's forget about what's behind us. Let's just go to where we want to go and let it go. Click. Pull to where we want to go, let it go. Click, pull where we want to go, let it go. Click, pull where we want it to go, and so on and so forth. And we can go all the way around this face, and we can take as long as we want. We can do a way better job than what I'm doing right now. But if you can get to where you no longer care about what's happening okay. behind you, it will fall into place. It'll be where it needs to be. Really? So when I'm doing a circle, I click, I grab the circle, and I just drag out to where I want to go, and I let it go. Okay, let's go. I want to see this magic. So the curve just happens perfectly. So now we've created our path, right? It's a mathematical yeah. path. I can't do anything with it. I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to say make it a selection. I don't want to feather my radius, and boom, now it's a selection. Guess what I can do now? Now I can do things like throw a mask on there, and boom, I've cut her face out of there. So if I took a couple extra minutes, I could do this perfectly, and I'm going to get the line of her face. I'm going to cut it out just perfect. So the secret is don't look behind you. Look where you want to go with the pin. So this is useful because something we've been discussing lately is our frustration with Adobe Photoshop and the new Refine Edge. Tool. Yeah, we can't get the new Refine it Edge to work. Can't get it to work, and it's really frustrating. So I was asking Mark, is there a way that we can kind of overcome the yeah. the frustration in that? And so the pen tool, I, I made it look very simple, and it is really that simple. But once you play with it, forget about what's going on behind you. Click, drag to where you want to go, let it go. You're going to find the pen tool gets very easy. The good thing is this is the right tool for cutting things out. If you do it right the first time, I could spend just a minute or two doing this right, cutting her out. I don't have to do any more adjustments. It's perfect. That is your Talking Raw tip of the day. That was awesome.
Fortunate questions. All right. Are you ready right. for the question? <laughs> oh, here. The question of the week. <laughs> All right. So we love. Not my chops. We, we love fortunate question time. What do we have? It is from oh, no. upside down again from Lauren from San Antonio, Texas. Hey, Lauren. Thanks for sending Howdy. me. Howdy. <laughs> your, your, okay. your question today. Play me some music while you do it. Okay. Right. Go ahead. So the stars at night are big <laughs> and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. All right. So, hey, Lauren. So it says here, um, when I look through my camera, it's blurry. When I look at it on the computer, it's sharp. Why? I think I know well, what she's asking. What? Yeah, it's funny because before you actually explain what I think she's asking too is just – this is just something totally separate to it. But most of the time what happens is people at our workshops will go – Man, it always looks so sharp here, but when I get home, it's blurry. It's the opposite of what she's right, saying. Right, right. And, and it's like a lot of times I'll look and go like, you're shooting at a 40th of a second. You're not using a tripod. It's your own fault. So number one, don't ever trust the screen. Right. It lies to you like lots of things in photography. Here's, here's what I think she's talking about. So we have this little dial up on the top of your computer. Mine is on the, the side here. Yours, Mine's way up here the by back. the eyepiece so, here. You know, it can be anywhere near your viewfinder. And what this is, it's called a diopter. And simply what it does is it focuses your viewfinder. It has no effect on your camera whatsoever as far as focus, but it focuses for your eyeball. So it's what like, you can do. It's like glasses for your camera. It, it kind of is. So, you know, I wear contacts, I wear glasses, and sometimes I wear nothing at all on my eyes. <laughs> but, but what we have, well, it's a little too much information there. But what we have is you can actually pull this little doohickey out yeah. and then just focus it just like you'd be focusing on don't don't pull out it, all of them because no. like mine it doesn't pull out so don't mine just turns so, so what i some do is, cameras you yeah and this one it. i pull out and i focus it and focus it just for your own eyeball until it's sharp and clear and then yeah. you're good to go so that will take care of both of those and that's i would almost bet my fortune cookie on that that that's what she's talking about but i think uh, that would solve your problems and change your life Hey, that was a great question, Lauren. If you have any questions, feel free to message them to us. Yeah. Look below. You'll see a link. You give us a message, and possibly it'll be forced into one of our fortune, <laughs> fortune cookies. cookies. What a great show today. A lot of fun looking at gadgets. So let's finish up with a little bit of food for thought today. Yes. So what's the what's your food for thought? And maybe I'll add something to it. My, my food for thought basically is that gadgets will not make your photography better. No, they won't. They won't. But they will make it easier sometimes. But they will make your wife upset at you for spending so much money. <laughs> they will. So that's, you know, that's kind of what I'm just thinking is that these uh, these gadgets are incredible. They're a lot of fun and uh, you know, they they can they can make photography more interesting. It is. It it can be more enjoyable, it can be easier. Um just play with stuff, man. That, that's one of the problems we have as photographers is we all suffer from that disease called gas. Yes, we all have gas. Right? <laughs> that's some of us have more than others. acquisition syndrome. That's right. It is a bad syndrome that us as photographers have. We buy way too much gear. But once in a while, things come along like these five that we had to show you that, man, you either need the bag or this stuff in your bag. Yep. So, so it, what we would love for you to do is go ahead in the comment section below. We showed you our five favorite currently. Now these change all the time. But, exactly. But right now our five favorite gadgets. I wanna hear your favorite gadgets or your top five even that you might have in your camera bag in your camera collection. Go ahead and hit the comment section below. Just type in gadgets and then tell me what they are. We would love to do that, love to share that conversation with you but uh yeah all right we enjoyed being with you today i want you to get out there take some pictures and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel we'll see you later that's right have a good week <laughs> you pick them up <laughs>